All right, let's get started. What was your favorite memory of Mrs. K during your time in band? For my first assembly, I had to perform for a Polynesian club, and it was right before the band had to play, and I told Mrs. K, and she said that I still needed to play for the band. So right after I performed, I still had my costume, and I didn't have time to change, and I quickly ran towards the band, and she was just there standing, waving me away like, no, you're not playing in that. What is the biggest lesson you learned from Mrs. K? Definitely to always strive to achieve my dreams. What did Mrs. K help you become? More confident in playing. Describe Mrs. K in one word. Mm, blunt, but in a lovable way. Thank you so much, Mrs. K. Hey, Miss Kay, I got a couple memories for you besides all the times that you kicked me out of rehearsal, and you know both of these quite well. One is the one time the greatest baller of all time, Michael Jordan, comes to play in Las Vegas. The one time I can go and see him play, and I tell you like a month in advance, and you knew how much the Bulls meant to me, I tell you a month in advance that I'm going to see the Bulls and Jordan, and you still failed me for the one performance I missed. I couldn't believe it. And then number two, uh, is all the times, multiple times, that you let me uh, house sit for you, and even after you knew I threw a party in your house. I don't know how many students can say that they threw a party inside your home. So two of the best memories I had, and I learned so much from you. Number one is um, just about hard work, right? You can't fake knowing the music. You can't fake being good at your instrument. You have to work hard at it, and that lesson honestly has applied to me in life. You cannot fake life. To be successful at it, you have to work really hard at it. And I did learn that in band. Um, and you helped me become what I am today, my second life, right? I'm, a, I'm an educator now, and I find myself giving speeches that you gave to us using those big words like integrity and honesty that when I was a high schooler, I really didn't know what it meant, even though I thought I did. Uh, and now I really do know what those words mean, and I'm trying to impart that on my kids today. Um, and one word I would use to describe you is just honest. You were honest with us and you were blunt. That's how I am. You know how us Chicagoans are. Uh, we get to the point. And I've always appreciated that about you and appreciate it even more today. So thank you. You really did mean a lot to me. And congratulations on your retirement. Hi, Ms. K. Um, as you can see, yes, I'm a band nerd. I didn't want to wear one of my old shirts. Uh, just because I'm so refreshed now. Um, but uh, this is kind of hard to do. I can't believe that this time has come and, uh, and you're leaving us. Well, not really leaving us, but you're leaving our legacy. Uh, I guess I want to say a couple of things. Uh, I remember one of the funny, funniest moments that came about. It was my first year in marching band. And uh, we were supposed to be on the field. And, of course, everyone was late. And the field was flooded. Well, as you got upstairs and was ready to start rehearsal, someone was really late and they were running and ended up slipping and falling in the mega puddle of water on the field. And you were like, see, if you wouldn't have been late, this would have never happened. Yeah, so don't ever be late for marching band practice. Um, one of the biggest lessons I've learned from you, I must say, is that You've always taught me to to reach higher and go for some bigger goals that I never thought I could ever go for. Then it came down to auditioning for a drum major one year, and I guess I wasn't ready at the time, and I thought I was ready. And, you know, your ex-husband, John, came to me and said, you know, she really wanted you to do it, but it's just not your time yet. And so I had to swallow my pride because I was ready. And uh, I kept auditioning, and look what happened. I got it one year, my last year, my senior year. Um, the biggest thing you've ever taught me or helped me become was a better person. Um, you knew our upbringing, Sylvia and I, and uh, it was kind of hard trying to get to school every day and surviving. And... Uh, you were always there and you respected us and taught us some good things and told us that things would be okay and things got better in life. So I thank you for that most definitely. One word I can 
in one word I would like to describe you as is in, insidious. You know, I don't think you know the effects that you have on some people. And, you know, it just got us through some, some hard times. And, you know, your strength made us stronger. I mean, I can say today that I still stand by that military action that you instilled in us. And, and it's helped me a lot. And I've become a bigger and better person because of that. Uh... I don't want to say thank you or uh, it's sad to see you go, but, you know, you've always been there. And I can't believe you're leaving the school because now I feel like my home has been broken up. So, um, but thank you. Thank you for being there and, and supporting all of us and And just being that role model for all of us to to look up to. I will never forget it. And I know we'll never, ever not cross paths again. And I'll try not to call you Miss K anymore. But that's kind of what's instilled in my heart. So, no, thank you. And uh, enjoy retirement. All right. See you later. Love you. One of my favorite moments with Miss K was when I had this big, huge solo, and she was on me about it, okay? I was sweating in my seat every single day, and one day she just came at me for it, and that was the one day that after that, I literally practiced every single day after that because that was never going to happen to me again, but I thank her for it because I was better off after, and I'll forever thank her for that because I practice my butt off right after that moment lesson learned. <laughs> lesson that I learned from Miss K was to work hard. I remember practicing my flute for hours and hours because I didn't want to have to sit in the hot seat the next day and been called to play by myself, something that I didn't know how to play. So definitely to work hard and dedicate yourself to whatever it is that you want to be successful at. If I had to pick one word to describe Miss K it would be inspiring. She inspired me beyond anything I could ever explain. Whatever it is that I decide to become in life is because of Ms. K. She has influenced me so much to become such a hard worker and to dedicate myself to anything that it is that I want to do. And she just has inspired me all four years of high school. I always looked up to her and thought that she was amazing for becoming who she is. And it's just so incredibly inspiring to me. Lastly, I want to say thank you to you, Ms. K. You are that teacher for me that I will always remember, the one that made me the person that I am today. And I just want to say thank you for that. And I hope you enjoy this time off and you go on all your vacations and you do all the shopping that you want because you deserve it. You are amazing and you've changed people's lives and I am eternally grateful for you. So thank you for everything that you've done. Hi. One word I would use to describe Miss K is respected. And something, probably the most valuable lesson I learned from her was to not make excuses. Own up to your mistakes and do better, play better, be better the next time. Because there's always room for improvement. I am now a music educator and have been for a few years. Miss K was definitely one of my biggest influences. Thank you for that. I try to be like you. I try to get my kids to always strive to be their best. And that's something that you always did for us. So happy retirement. And can I call you Diane yet? I'll see you around. Bye. What was your favorite or funniest memory with Miss Kay? During our trip to Spain, or rather on our way back from Spain, I got pulled aside by TSA and they had to do a whole separate check for me. And so Miss K stayed behind to pretty much make sure I didn't get lost on my way back to the airport. And I thought that was really awesome and fun because she was there for me and went through 
the whole airport again with me. And when we got back to the gate where we were waiting, she called me her little delinquent. What was the biggest lesson you learned from Miss K? The biggest lesson that I learned from Miss K was how to be responsible. What did Miss K help you to become? Ms. K helped me to become a responsible leader and to and make sure that start over. Ms. K helped me become a responsible leader and to make sure that if something needs to be done, that it gets done. Describe Ms. K in one word. There's so many words. I would have to say amazing. Thank you for teaching me so much more than music. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's see. My favorite memory of Miss K is probably when we won squad comps and our pot, our box was just absolutely perfect. And the look on her face, she was just so proud of us. And then she actually laughed at our at our little skit afterward, which made me feel really good. <laughs> I remember I was in the audience for that. I was like, <laughs> how old would I have been? Like 11? Something like that, oh. yeah. Okay. My favorite memory of Miss K was when we went to Vancouver uh, my sophomore year. And um, there was like this big group of people by this place. And I was walking with some of my friends. And I was like, oh no, like did we miss a meeting or something? And so we just like ran over there. And everyone was just watching Miss K and Miss Fralick and Mr. Myers just like riding around on go-karts and they were just like dominating the field and it was awesome so that's my favorite memory okay what's next biggest lesson let's see uh biggest lesson i learned from miss k was how to manage my time well from miss k i learned how to use a certain language to communicate with certain kinds of people that maybe you didn't want to communicate with or maybe you didn't I don't know. She just, she helped me learn how to be a better communicator. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Miss K helped me become somebody that could talk to adults really well and communicate with them in a respectful way to it so it didn't sound like I was whining or complaining. Going along with the same thing, <laughs> Miss K helped me um, kind of develop my own personality, which is kind of, like, quirky and just, like, I don't know, sometimes I just say things and I'm like, wow, I'm pretty sure that Miss K said that, like, ten times, <laughs> like, in a week. So I am just grateful for her for really helping me find, like, what my whole thing is and how, just how to be myself, I guess, like, through band and through just kind of talking to her. Um, through theory, through like all that stuff. So, yeah. Let's see. Describe Miss K in one word. That's really hard. There's so many words that describe Miss K in <gasps> such a good way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably have to say humble. Miss K is definitely like the most humble person I've ever met in my whole life. She's probably gonna hate this video. <laughs> um, I would have to say Miss K described in one word is tasteful. Like her outfits were always perfect. Like no matter what. Like I never saw Miss K not looking perfect. Spot on. And like not just that, but like she was tasteful in her music, she was tasteful in her wardrobe, she was tasteful how she communicated. How she with communicated, people. how she worked with everyone. So yeah. I would have to say tasteful. So we just wanted to say from NAU, thank, thank you, Miss K. K. We love you, and we're so happy for you, and yes. really glad we got to go through your program. Yes, yeah, so grateful for your program, for everything that it taught us, and yeah. yeah. Hi, Miss K. Remember that time you almost knocked me off the stage uh, in Midwest? Anyways, I just wanted to say congratulations on an amazing career.
Thank you for inspiring me to pursue one in music. Um, this, by the way, is the same suit that I wore all four years in high school. <laughs> um, thought I'd share with you a warm-up. As you can see, I'm preparing for a concert. This is my melodica. Here you go. Hi, Miss Kay, one of your original tuba chicks here. I'm so excited that you're retiring this year, but sad at the same time because you're leaving Green Valley High School. I've had so many memories with you. You know, you've taken me to Paris and California and Bands of America, a halftime show review. There's just so many memories that I have with you at Green Valley. If I had to pick one, it would have to be my freshman year. We were at the band banquet and you had awarded me uh, most improved band member. I'm not sure the process on how you choose that person, but I remember sitting in the band room and everyone, you know, sitting in little corners writing who they thought deserved it. And at the banquet, you had awarded it to me. And that made me feel really special because, you know, when I came into band, I was playing flute and I didn't think I was all that great and you know you had said you were graduating tubas and you needed tuba players and you would even pay for lessons so I went home finally convinced my parents and four years later I was um, sitting first chair in your top band playing tuba and it it really made me feel special because you know I had worked really hard I, I a lot of kids say that they're afraid of you but for me, it was more that I was afraid of disappointing you because you had, you know, taken a chance on me and, and you know, I, I wanted to make you proud. Um, there, through the years, there's been a lot of things that I've learned from you. Um, the first thing is we were walking from the band room to the field for marching band practice. And I don't know, we were running behind or something like that. And you were after us about, you know, why are you guys sauntering to the field? And I turned to whoever I was walking with, and I was like, well, what does the word saunter mean? And, you know, none of us knew what that meant. So I had gone home that day, and um, I looked up <laughs> what the word saunter meant. And believe you me, that was the last time I sauntered to the, to the field for, for marching band practice. Um, the other important thing that you taught me was just a, a couple months ago when I had come to the high school to pick up a tuba to borrow for the alumni concert. And, you know, you were talking to me about school and how I'd returned to school and how school going. And I was telling you how proud I was of myself. I had gotten straight A's in every class that I've taken. And that. That, that was really hard for me because I was never really the best student in school and um, to tell you of my accomplishments, it made me feel, you know, good about it and that I was proud of myself and, you know, you told me that that was great and you were really encouraging about it, but um, you had told me that. You told me that it wasn't about the grade and that it was what you were getting out of the class. And you're absolutely right about that. I've taken a few classes now and I'm almost done. And every class that I've taken, I've learned so much from it. And 
every class that I take from from that point forward, um, I just I carry those words with me. What she said to me that day that it's not about the grade, it's what you get out of the class. You've helped me become a better person. And because of that, I've become more confident in myself. You know, through high school, I didn't have a lot of friends. And I felt like every time I was at the band room, you were always there. Friends were always there. It felt like home. So if I had to describe, if I had to describe you in one word, it would be home. If I had to describe you in one word, it would be home. You know, I, I'm a lot older now. And I, I, all I really have are the memories from high school and from band. And, you know, I follow all these pages on Facebook and, and the memories just keep coming back. And every time I think about band, you know, the memories that I have with, with the people, with you, with the music, I just, I, I feel, I feel at home. So I want to thank you for everything you've done for me and, all of the dedication that you've given to your students throughout the years. Happy retirement, Miss K. I love you. You know, I should preface this story by saying that I spent most of my time in Miss K's classroom being utterly terrified, so I can't really say that I remember that many funny things happening, but, uh... <sighs> But I think I have something to, to give it a shot. Um, there is this one time in rehearsal where, you know, the whole band is sitting there and she's trying to rehearse and she's like, okay, measure 13, here we go. She gives a downbeat, nothing happens. And so she does this several times and no one's, no one's getting it. We're all starting in the wrong spot. No one knows where we are. And she just goes, okay, so this might be difficult because sometimes I might switch into a different language. But I'm going to do my very best to be very clear. So if something is confusing, like if I've started speaking a different language, just let me know and then we'll just keep going. And so clearly this is very sarcastic and they should be, you know, like sinking into their chairs and being like, I should pay attention. But no, they're just like, what? You can speak different languages? They're like so impressed and I'm just sitting here like, no, no, that's not okay. Okay, uh, so now she's taught me how to swindle a bunch of high school kids, which I'm going to remember. <laughs> My goal is to be a band teacher, so I'm definitely using this. Um, but on the more serious point, um, she has been very helpful, particularly in taking criticism, because I'm doing what a lot of the high schoolers now are doing, you know, rehearsing, trying to become better, you know, taking a lot of criticism and just being a better musician. And I walk into these band rooms, and some of these kids don't know how to handle when someone tells them, you're slow, you're sharp, you didn't play this right. And then, and they're just so touchy about it at the point where the teachers suddenly have to, like, start, you know, beating, the, beating around the bush to tell them that they're wrong. And so I'm sitting there, and then the teacher's trying to tell me something like, you know, that wasn't really your best. And then I just, of course, have to cut in with... Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't subdividing at all. That was terrible. And then, you know, they just, <laughs> they look so shocked. Honestly, the looks on their faces is enough to make the whole thing worth it. <laughs> you just gotta know how to take it. You know, it's honestly not that bad. Um, let's see. So, as I said, my goal is to be a music teacher, a band teacher. Um, so... Obviously, taking criticism helps. You gotta know how to teach right. And if you're not making it, then you just need to figure it out. And then, 
Um, she, you know, Miss K just makes you more responsible in her classroom. She doesn't stop at making you a good musician. And then she has all these great ideas. I don't know if the kids in her class right now understand this, but she has a bunch of wonderful ideas. I can't tell you how many times I've drawn from her plans when I've had to make projects and, and, and ideas in my music education classes. I draw directly from her. And then suddenly all of my professors love it. it she honestly has a wonderful setup. Um... So, this is the part where I'm supposed to be summarizing Miss K in one word. So, I hate to be that person, but I can't do that. Because you know what, guys? Miss K didn't get this far and didn't create such a great program by being a one-dimensional person. Her big thing was that she is flexible. She has a whole lot of different sides to her. She, you know, she's just... um a wonderful person in a lot of different ways, which you need to be in order to pull that off. Believe me, as someone who's trying to figure this out before I student teach next month, I understand. Well, not fully, but it's a lot more than I think you know. You have to be very diverse in how you handle things, so I can't do it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. So basically, at the end of the day, Miss K you were a wonderful teacher. I mean, um, I know that a lot of kids have teachers that they look up to and they think, oh, this teacher was so helpful. But honestly, especially for what I'm trying to do, you were really, really helpful, very inspirational. Thank you so much. Um, I owe a lot to your program. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the part where you cut it out, right? Because I totally messed that ending up. But anyway, um, I guess I'll just end it with a thank you. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope your kids just know how wonderful of a teacher you are. This video is for Miss K. Um, I wanted to start the video out by saying that my most favorite memory of Miss K is just that she was always a support to all of her students in band. And I think one of my most favorite memories is that she knew our names and she knew a little bit about us, that we were enough, we were important enough to her for her to know who we were, um, to know our names and to make us feel like we were part of something and not just another face. And she had hundreds and hundreds of people that she had to know. And so um, my, one of my favorite memories is just that she always made us feel like we were a part of something special. Um, the biggest lesson I learned from Miss K is to never give up. That even when things are hard or when things feel like they aren't going to get any easier, that we have to keep trying and persevere through those hard moments. Um, because those, that perseverance is what's going to make us better and stronger and um, and it's going to just show that we are just better people. It's going to build our character and just build who we are as people. But what did she help me become? Mrs. K, Ms. K helped me become a better teacher. When I became a teacher, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher that had a little bit of an element of many of the teachers that I had, but at the top of that list was Miss K. Um, I always wanted to be a teacher who knew who my students were. And I always wanted to be a teacher who could look at a student and know a little bit about who they were. And I always wanted to be a teacher who never gave up on my students. And I feel like that's one of those things that Miss K helped me to um, realize how to do was to never give up on somebody, even if it didn't seem like they were getting any better or if it didn't seem like they, um, there was a hope there that just to never give up. If I had to describe Miss K in one word, I would say that word was fierce. She was one of the most fierce, is one of the most fierce women that I know and that I was blessed to have been had as a, had as a teacher. Finally, um, I just want to say thank you, Miss K, for teaching me that Thank you, Ms. K, for teaching me that good enough isn't good enough. That if something is good enough, you have to keep trying to make it better. 
that stopping when something is good enough means that we've given up and I don't want to ever be somebody who gives up or is a quitter. And so I thank you for teaching me to just keep going, even when things are hard or when things are tough or um, when it feels like I might not be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for teaching me to just keep going and to keep running towards the end and keep making myself better as I go. So thank you and I hope you have a wonderful retirement. I have many favorite memories uh, about band and Miss K, but I think that the funniest one is probably underwear checks. Back in my day, we had white marching band pants, so we had to wear white underwear. Otherwise, it would show through, so we had to line up and show her. So probably not the highlight of her career, but uh, I think Brian Fry might have been the first and only violator that I'm aware of, and he was wearing red hearts on his boxer shorts. The biggest lesson that I learned from Miss Kay wasn't about music at all. I learned a lot about music and eventually even got a degree in music, but the biggest thing wasn't in a lesson. It was in the way that she would set a goal and then push that goal just right out of reach and then would work so hard just relentlessly until that goal was achieved, all the while making it look entirely effortless. If I had to describe Miss Kay in one word, it would be tenacious. She is determined and persistent. Ms. K helped me become a successful, strong woman by showing me how. Thank you. Thank you for being you and inspiring so many. Hey, Ms. K, just wanted to send a little video message. I heard through the grapevine that you're retiring this year. Uh, so I wanted to just kind of share a few of the memories that I've had coming and going through your program. Um, the first thing, the one thing that definitely pops to my head first is when we were playing in Carnegie Hall and my bow tie came undone from the bass saxophone and you looked at me after, before we started the next piece and told me to fix it and so I did. Um, a, lo a lot of things that I've learned throughout the years of being with you, I didn't realize that I learned them until I got, went into college and played in different bands. but. One thing that definitely stuck with me was that you don't touch your music before the, the director is completely done, and also to knock before you enter. Um, yeah, a lot of, like I said, a lot of students have come through your program and, you know, every student has had a different kind of interaction with you, but for me, moving through your program, I've definitely learned to be a better leader, um, a better example, how to teach certain things, explain certain things. It's definitely helped me throughout my years in college so far. Um, if I could describe you in one word, I would definitely say that you're committed, committed to excellence, committed to everything that you believe in, musically committed to perfection towards musicality within within a piece um, just all around all in pretty much so I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done not only for myself but for everybody who has come into into and out of your program I know that regardless of how people feel about you you've definitely had some type of impact on <clears throat> students within music and within life so for that a huge thank you and I hope that you have a really great retirement we're, we're sad to see you go but we know it's you've done your time <laughs> bye hey guys um, this is my video for the Miss K video compilation thing um, edit this please because past takes have not been good. I'm just going to keep this one. So, my favorite thing, or my favorite memory of Miss K has to be during the Shanghai trip when she, uh, she had to get rid of this huge crowd that had amassed around one of her students because he was just uh, dancing in the middle of the street in China. And the, the, these pedestrians had no idea what they were looking at. And, and she just had to get rid of this huge crowd that had amassed and it was so funny watching her wave away these random people 
uh, while we were waiting for a bus to come to take us to the next next place. Um, the biggest lesson that Miss K taught me was to not half-ass something. And if I was going to like attempt to do something, give it all my effort because in the end, it paid off. And I wouldn't have had that if I hadn't met her and been taught by her. (sighs) Miss K helped me become more self-confident in my abilities because before before, uh, high school, in middle school, I was timid. I wasn't sure of myself. But by the end of high school, and thanks to being in her band, I really felt more confident and uh, one word to describe Miss K see everyone wants to say scary or frightening but mine has to be uh, she's passionate and so from the bottom of my heart Miss K thank you for everything The funniest memory I have of Miss K was one day before rehearsal, um, I was just chilling in the back of the room, um, talking to some friends, and Miss K comes out of her office, like, yelling my name, and I'm just sitting there like, what did I do wrong? What did I not do? Am I in trouble? Like, oh, geez, like, what, what's going on? And she, she finds me, and she says, She's like, Iggy, what's, what, what, what grade is your sister in? And I'm like, oh, she's in seventh grade, because I was a senior at that point, and my sister was in seventh grade. Uh, Miss K asked, oh, what did she play? And I said, bassoon. And she's like, yes, score, we got one. And she was so excited that that she knew that she had a, a bassoon coming in in two years, since at that point they were running low on uh, bassoon players that weren't graduating or anything. <clears throat> Um, the biggest lesson that I learned from Ms. K was definitely being punctual. Um, there was a whole motto that went around for a little bit that was just to be on or to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be late is to not be. Um, and it's still very applicable to me to this day since I'm always at least 10 minutes early for everything, even though sometimes it's a little weird, but it's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned from from Ms. K and from band in general. Um, Miss K helped me become more confident. She helped me become less shy. She kind of helped me kind of like break out of my shell, I guess. Um, yeah, she was, she was a really great role model for me in high school, and I really appreciated spending four years with her. If I could describe Miss K in one word, that would probably be passionate. Um, you can really tell how passionate she is about music and about teaching music. Um, literally every single day, every single concert, every time she gets super excited about a new piece we're playing or emotional about a piece that reminds her of something, it's it's really evident that she's completely passionate about teaching music to us. Um, So thank you very, very much, Miss Kay. Um, You were a great role model for me in high school and even today. and I don't think I would be the person I am today without taking four years of band with you. And even though sometimes you terrified me, it was all worth it. And you helped me truly become who I am today. And I don't think I don't think I would be as confident or as um, well-rounded as I am today without your help. So thank you very much. And I know a lot of other people appreciated um being in your class and being around you thank you and i wish you could stay green valley's band director forever but you know (laughs) thank you so much miss gay hello i am phil klein class of 1998 trumpet um what was the favorite funniest memory 
my favorite memory has always been uh, it's always been at your leisure being shouted at us across the field as we would uh, slowly meander our way out onto the field for practice. Uh, I think we would scream out at each other uh, <laughs> throughout the years uh, just to recall those days. Um, my biggest lesson learned was uh, it's got to be that the, there's a time and a place for chewing gum and that white socks are not always an appropriate fashion choice. Um, what did I learn from Miss Kay? What I learned, um, I learned to expect more from myself because she expected more from us. I feel like uh, she was really one of the first teachers that I ever felt treated me like an adult, treated all of us as adults. And, and she was also very open and frank. Uh, she, w she was authentic. Uh, when she would conduct, she wasn't afraid to emote and show that the music meant something to her and that it was affecting her emotionally. And, and because of that, uh, I distinctly remember wanting to make sure I nailed that high B flat and the second movement of Lincolnshire Posey because I could see every time how much it meant to her that we hit it. And, uh, and in turn, I wanted to provide that for her. I wanted to show her that it was possible and, and to give her that because she expected it from us. Um, describing Miss Kay in one word, passionate. Absolutely, she's passionate. And thank you. I want to thank Miss Kay for, for everything, for all the, <laughs> all, all the memories. I don't know what I would have done without band, and, and you made it possible. I, I so much appreciate the time that we spent together in, in band. Thank you. The funniest memory that I have of Mrs. K would have to be uh, when she came to first period wearing a striped shirt that I'm 99% sure I had seen Mr. Peterson wearing before, and this was back in the day when I don't think it was public knowledge that they were dating. Um, the biggest lesson that I learned from Mrs. K was don't be late. Um, the What did Mrs. K help me to become? Even more of a perfectionist than I already was. And describe Mrs. K in one word, I would have to say legend. Thank you so much, Mrs. K, for all you've done for me and for so many others. Hey, so after being in band for four years, you hear a lot of funny things come out of your teacher's mouth. But one of my favorite things that Miss K probably said was after we hadn't been back to the Henderson Band Fest at Basic for a few years, she'd be like, oh, guys, we got to make sure they know we're here. So like, here we are. And so that was just a funny thing that we always looked back on and would say a lot throughout high school. Um, one of my biggest lessons I learned from Miss K was definitely to carry out a task and to do it right because it was hard playing the instrument I did and trying to be good and trying to impress people. So I just kept practicing, kept practicing, and I just wanted to impress her and impress everyone else and to sound the best I possibly could and to help bring up the group as much as I could. I think a really good word to describe Miss K would be diligent because no matter what, everything was supposed to be spot on. And granted, that is how people want it to be. Everyone wants everything to be perfect. But Miss K definitely would not rest until everything was exactly how she wanted it. And I really appreciated that. Um, I just want to say thank you, Miss K, for being the best teacher I've ever had, for being someone who has been there for me for my, all four years of my high school and just supporting us and my friends throughout everything and trying to make us the best we possibly could be. So thank you, Miss K. All right, my favorite memory of Miss K is when I was in some class, some other class other than band, and she walked into the room. I don't think half the people in the room knew who she was, and the entire room went silent. Um, I think that's the kind of person that she's always been. You, she just needed to walk into the room, and everyone knew that a person of power was coming in. There was just this hush over this, the class. It was great. Um, the biggest lesson that Miss K had taught me, um, of course, integrity, uh, which is also the one word that would sum up Miss K, integrity along with formidable. Miss um, K helped me become the time managing person that I am now. I'm always early. If you are early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you are late, you multiply the number of minutes by the amount of people that were inconvenienced, and there you are. You are that many minutes late. Um, so thank you, Miss K, for making me the person that I am today. My favorite memory of Miss K, um, there were a lot. 
a lot of one-liners I wish I'd written down. But one of my favorite memories is after we had finished performing in Carnegie Hall in November of 2011, and we were all on this party boat that took us around the Hudson. And at one point, Don't Stop Believing came on, and all the band kids were jamming out. Um, and then we all look around, and suddenly we see Miss K is dancing and jamming out. Um, that was a really fun moment. In terms of lessons learned, again, there were a lot. Um, but there are a few that really stuck with me as I grew older and go through different phases of life. Um, and some of them include never to be apologetic about who you are and um, to stay true to yourself. That and of course being a better, more appreciative musician. If I could describe Miss Kane one word, hmm, one that sticks out is timpanist. Um, she played for us once. She played this crazy timpani solo and we were all blown away. Um, that was really cool. So uh, thank you Miss K for everything for an amazing four years in high school that I still recall back so fondly and have so many great memories of. So thank you.